Good day. We are the Group 4A, Level 3 Nursing Students from the University of St. LaSalle Bacolod. Today, we're going to be presenting our research study entitled Bridging the Flow of Life, Live Experience of Teenage Mothers During the Early Phase of Breastfeeding. I am Alicia Le Perocho, and together with me are James Joseph Panes, Pamela Joy Peña Florida, and Reeve Denise Pia. Now, for the purpose of the study, the purpose of the study is to explore the lived experience of teenage mothers during the early phase of breastfeeding in Bacolod City. Through the methods, research design, phenomenological approach, research design. The goal of the phenomenological approach is to enlighten and achieve a profound understanding of a specific phenomenon through the perception and distinct individual affected. For the study sample, the participants are six teenage mothers ages 13 to 19 years old residing at a rural and urban community. For the research instruments, this study utilizes a semi-structured interview and discussed to collect a focused quantitative data. Also, an interview guide adapted to the purpose and research question was used. Now for the results of the study. This study explored the lived experience of teenage mothers on breastfeeding and two major themes were identified. First, teenage mothers facing difficulties with breastfeeding and that teenage mothers are fighting through resistance. For theme one, the difficulties they experience can vary significantly and may have affected their physical, mental, emotional, social, and spiritual aspects of well-being. These difficulties were comprehensively discussed and investigated in this study with the following identified sub-themes. We have experience of pain, accompanying physical changes, roller coaster of emotions, sleepless nights, unvaried dietary intake, stigmatization, and decreased engagement and self-care. For theme two, teenage mothers are sensitive to sudden changes in behaviors that may require support from partners families, peers, and professionals to continue breastfeeding. Multiple reasons have been associated with the ability of teenage mothers to face and overcome the resistance that breastfeeding challenges have brought up to them. The identified sub-themes are breast milk sufficiency, support system, means of coping, benefits of breastfeeding, mental toughness, faith in God, and conducive living conditions. The study found that teenage mothers faced a range of physical and emotional challenges during the breastfeeding process. Many mothers experience pain, soreness, and other physical discomforts while also dealing with emotional ups and downs that come with caring for a newborn. The physical and emotional challenges confronted by these mothers can be overwhelming, and it is important to supply them with the means and resources that they need to succeed. Despite these challenges, many mothers demonstrated remarkable mental toughness, fortitude, and perseverance and their efforts to provide for their children. The results of the study are in line with previous research on the breastfeeding experience of teenage mothers. According to a study by Ortiz in 2019, many teenage mothers struggled to strike a balance between their personal demands and the needs of their infants and felt pain and soreness during breastfeeding. The importance of having a supportive network was also highlighted in the study. Teenage mothers who had access to supportive family members, friends, and healthcare professionals reported feeling more assured and successful in their breastfeeding endeavors. Programs and resources that promote and facilitate this support can be an important step in addressing the challenges faced by teenage mothers during the early breastfeeding process. However, the study also found that teenage mothers often face stigmatization from their communities and society at large, which made it difficult for them to feel supported and accepted. Similarly, a study by McClellan in 2017 discovered that teenage mothers experience stigmatization and social exclusion from their communities, making it challenging for them to receive assistance and services. Hence, campaigns for education and awareness that attempt to lessen stigma and foster acceptance and support for teenage mothers could be a crucial first step in addressing this problem. Next, the benefits of breastfeeding were also reported by teenage mothers, including a stronger bond with their children and improved overall health. These findings are in line with those of other research that has discovered that breastfeeding can improve bonding between mothers and their babies, as well as general health. Given the high incidence of depression in this cohort, a study by McKenna in 2017 indicated that breastfeeding can lower the risk of postpartum depression in, in teenage mothers. However, some mothers reported struggles with having a diverse dietary intake and self-care and finding a balance between their own needs and their child's needs. This emphasizes the requirement this emphasizes the requirement for programs and resources that assist teenage mothers in taking care of both themselves and their kids. Overall, the results of the study illustrate the complex and challenging journey of breastfeeding teenage mothers and stress the significance of providing them with specialized assistance and tools to help them navigate this process. Access to lactation consultants, counseling, and support groups are a few examples of this. Policies and social attitudes may also need to alter to better accept and support teen mothers and their families.
Now for the conclusion, teenage mothers face a plethora of challenges and difficulties during their breastfeeding journey. These difficulties were significantly attributed to feelings of pain, progressive physical changes, limited sleeping hours, ambivalence, social stigma, and lesser time for oneself. Breastfeeding requires skin-to-skin -skin contact between the mother and the child. To have effective breastfeeding, proper latch-on is important. Hence, teenage mothers primarily complain of pain due to the continuous stimulation of their nipples. With this, they employ several breastfeeding hacks, like combing or tying their nipples or breast from the bottom up to their chest, as well as directly breastfeeding them to their babies to relieve pain. Encountered physical changes were also noted wherein participants highlighted the importance of self-care and proper dietary intake to combat such changes. In addition, a degree of ambivalence was also reported by teenage mothers, time by time, experiencing happiness and then shifting to fleeting moments of sadness. With this, teenage mothers have displayed perseverance and mental toughness to overcome this roller coaster of emotions, setting their focus on their top priority, which is their babies. Moreover, social stigma is still a concerning issue that affects teenage mothers. However, an established support system guided by their parents, especially their mothers, as well as their partners, had a significant impact in neutralizing the detrimental effects of stigmatization. Also, it is important to recognize the source of strength of these teenage mothers as they continue to believe in God, trusting that they are not being left behind. In conclusion, teenage mothers continue to face difficulties every day, ranging from physical, mental, emotional, social, and spiritual issues. However, teenage mothers have the capacity to thrive as they are equipped with support and a mindset to constantly seek for open means of coping, with the only goal to preserve and improve their baby's well-being. Moreover, Roy's adaptation model may be used to identify and recognize actual stressors and difficulties in order to employ appropriate means of coping to achieve homeostasis and maintain a good state of well-being. This can also be utilized by close family members and partners in order to provide a supportive environment wherein adaptation is promoted and general well-being is enhanced. Next, for the recommendations, the findings of the study can improve breastfeeding support, aid healthcare professionals in better comprehending the difficulties teenage mothers encounter when trying to breastfeed their children. This knowledge can be utilized to create tailored breastfeeding support initiatives for teenage mothers that consider their particular requirements and issues. Next, inform policy be used to drive policy decision concerning maternal and child health, such as the development of guidelines for breastfeeding support for teenage mothers or the provision of supplementary resources to manage the specific needs of this population. Next, race awareness. It will help boost awareness among healthcare professionals and the general public about the experiences of teenage mothers in the early phase of breastfeeding. The stigma and misunderstanding associated with teenage pregnancy and breastfeeding may be lessened as a result of this race awareness. Lastly, inform future research. This is be this is will be used to direct future research on teenage pregnancy and breastfeeding, including the development of interventions and programs meant to help teenage moms achieve better breastfeeding results. For our references, you can scan here at the QR code located below the poster. Thank you so much for listening. Have a good day.